What is our fifth main topic today? Fifth main topic from Christian Hanna. Hey, John and crew. Throughout the online reports that Sasha Baron Cohen might be playing Mephisto, Deadline has confirmed that their sources say Sasha Baron Cohen is possibly playing Mephisto in Ironheart. I know you are skeptical, but Cohen has done dramatic work before, like his Oscar-nominated performance in The Trial of the Chicago 7. So he may not be his typical goofball self. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking, John? Do you think Sasha will play Mephisto? I still don't. I still don't. <gasps> now, again, but but let me preface this the way I've always prefaced that. I'm not saying I know he's not. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. Because like you said, Sasha Baron Cohen, I, I understand, and it's understandable that when people hear the name Sasha Baron Cohen, they think Borat, or they think Bruno, or they think The Dictator. And, and I get it because he's so larger than life when he does those things. Or I can't even remember the name of his character in Talladega Nights. Oh my gosh, Booby. That <laughs> Booby. I, I, I love him in that movie, actually. <laughs> but this dude is a legit actor. Yeah. I mean, take a look at this. Jonathan, we've got that ready here. Anything. Take a look at this. I mean, he mm -hmm. was in Martin Scorsese, went out to put him in Hugo, and he was fabulous in that. As the innkeeper in Les Mis? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Listen, obviously, Jean Valjean and Javert are the two toughest roles to play in that. But the innkeeper, you got to nail the innkeeper if you're mm -hmm. going to do Les Mis. Do you know what he did for his audition? No, I don't. He tried to sing all of Fiddler and was like, no, hold on. Let me keep going. He tried and to sing kept Fiddler. like the entire thing. He was like, excuse, please don't interrupt. And kept going. That's supposedly the story of what happened. That is the rumor mill. But See, when has... I try to do that in my auditions, they just call security. <laughs> but for, with him playing the innkeeper, and I think it was Helena Bonham Carter played the innkeeper's mm -hmm. wife. Yep. They were so magical. magic together on screen, okay? Absolutely magic together. And then, of course, in Trial of Chicago 7, we, we are talking about an Academy Award-nominated actor in this thing. He can do this. He can. <laughs> Now, I still don't believe it. Now, I've had a lot of people write to say it like that. He can. It just reminded me of the water boy. You can do it. You can do this. <laughs> You're channeling my inner Rob Schneider. <laughs> now I just think of carrots. Okay, so yeah, kudos to you if you know the reference. But is he going to be it? Now, I've had a lot of people writing in and, and, and writing to me, and I've seen a lot of people posting online that confirmed Sasha Baron Cohen is going to be Mephisto. It's confirmed by deadline. Guys. No. You got to read more than the headline because that is not what Deadline has said. This is specifically what Deadline said. Now, I want you to get the wording of this because the wording is important. Deadline wrote the following. Speculation is growing that Sasha Baron Cohen has entered the Marvel Cinematic Universe with a role in Marvel Studios' upcoming Disney Plus series Ironheart as a comic book villain. A source, now listen, follow the chain of events here. A source close to the production confirmed a Deadline that there has been talk on the set of Cohen being part of Ironheart, likely playing Mephisto. Reps for Marvel and Cohen have refused to comment on any Cohen involvement in Ironheart or the larger MCU. All right, let's be clear about what it is they are saying and what they're not saying. Deadline is saying, we have talked to somebody who has heard that people on the set are talking about this. We've heard talk that somebody's talking about something on set. This isn't deadline saying we spoke to executives uh, to executives at uh, at Marvel and our executive contacts are telling us that he's joined. No, no, no. There's speculation going on around the set. Somebody heard that speculation and that person went and told deadline about the speculation. And deadline's being very clear about it. Deadline isn't coming out and saying, Could, we can confirm that he's playing it. It's not. Now, does that mean he's not playing Mephisto? No. Doesn't mean he's not. He very well could be. And guess what? I always say I don't do X actor and X role things. I just care about if the actor you're choosing is a good actor or not. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. And listen, if they announced that Sasha Baron Cohen was going to be Mephisto, I get it. There's going to be some backlash because right now some people are a little bit iffy on Marvel because they've leaned so far into the comedy, at least as, I mean, maybe not with Werewolf by Night, but with things like Thor, Love, and Thunder. They thought they've leaned a little too far that way. And then maybe hearing Borat is now going to be Mephisto, they're going to get worried. But I would not be worried because this is the guy, the Academy Award nominated actor from Trial of the Chicago 7 and the innkeeper from Les Mis and from Hugo. This is that guy and he could do it if it's him. So today, until I hear more information, I still don't believe it. 
but I'm not going to be shocked if we find out it's true. It's definitely one of those things that is a possibility, but right now I haven't seen enough evidence to actually believe it. Chris, you hear about this. Theoretically, what would you think about a Sasha Baron Cohen coming into the MCU as a character like Mephisto? But, and then what do you think the likelihood of that is, given what we're hearing? Uh, well, first I have to correct myself. It was the audition for Sweeney Todd. My husband oh, was texted God. me and was like, you almost got the story right. Sweeney Todd is what he did that for. Um, I would love this. I feel like this would be the most Sasha Baron Cohen thing to be the <laughs> devil. Because like Thanos, to a degree, I believe all things must have balance. And if we're going to do all these celestial godlike creatures, we got to bring in the devil himself. We need a class two demon in our midst, okay? <laughs> so I think this would be a really, really fun thing, especially if we are going to dive into the world of the supernatural a bit more. We had that with Werewolf by Night. We're hopefully going to have that with Blade. You know, I think if we're going to have undead characters, we need to have demons and things like that in here. And I would love to see him in this role because Sasha Baron Cohen is so charismatic. Yeah. And I think that's what you need in somebody who's a deceiver. Mephisto, you know, pretends to be other people constantly. He is the Lord of Temptation. I think Sasha Baron Cohen could deliver that so well. Aaron, what do you think? Could you see Sasha Baron Cohen playing a devil-like character? And then more so with what we're seeing, do you think it's likely that he will be this guy? You know, I am such a fan of him as an actor that you could announce that he was playing Wonder Woman and I would say <laughs> oh well that's interesting I'm really I'm just curious how that's gonna go I mean I, I would be okay with him taking on just about any role I mean this is an actor who you know he was educated at Cambridge he was a member of their uh, the, their dr the dramatic club at Cambridge he as you have said he's an Academy Award nominated actor his career not only spans the creation of I'm not not even just the playing of but the creation of these characters yes we know borat but i remember him back from dolly g show Hell yeah. like which he was nominated for two baftas for and the baftas don't just go you know throwing around their awards willy-nilly for frivolous crap they i mean he is a he's he's a writer a producer he's conceived of these characters in a way that makes them so believable that he can actually go out in public and be these characters to unsuspecting audience un, an unsuspecting audience in person Person, not just hidden up on a screen behind smoke and mirrors and hair and makeup. Um, I really believe that he is such a talent that his addition as Mephisto, if this is true, and I, I think it is, um, can only elevate the project. And on his IMDb page, he's already listed as playing Mephisto, rumored, rumored. Yeah. allegedly. That's because people have access to that page. I again. know, yeah, so. I know. However, I do think that um, if there wasn't a kernel of truth to it, that someone at Marvel would have called up their buddies over at IMDb and been like, hey, you, you got to take that down. But we've seen it happen before. You, you know, you're right, you're right. But I also... I also believe that Deadline, you know, even though they're not saying it's fact, they like to be they like to get out in front of things and they also don't like to um, they like to make sure that they're the first ones that are reporting it. I just I really feel like this is true. I, I don't know why nothing specific, but maybe it's just my wishful thinking that Sasha Baron Cohen is playing Mephisto um, that automatically raised my enthusiasm for this project immensely. You know, we do see that he is playing another comic book character, though, um, in this upcoming project that he has um, Mandrake the Magician. So it'll be interesting to see how he balances all of his upcoming projects. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Do you think that it could be interesting seeing Sasha Baron Cohen as Mephisto? What do you think the chances are that it could be? Again, maybe you're one of these people who can't see beyond Borat. This is a trained Academy Award nominee. By the way, he was going to be Freddie Mercury for a long yeah. time. Oh, yeah. And, and he would have crushed. He would have oh, crushed. I mean, so I mean obviously, Robbie Malik Rami, did but, great, know. too. Yeah. But anyway, what do you guys think about that? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. You guys know we have been sponsored by Masterclass and we love them here at the John Campia Show for giving us in-depth information on a wide variety of topics from the world's best experts. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn the art of filmmaking from James Cameron, improve your cooking skills from Gordon Ramsay, or learn how to make compelling YouTube videos from Marquise Brownlee. With over 150 classes from a range of world 
world-class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. I was recently watching through the independent filmmaking course by Spike Lee, and I found it fascinating that not only did he cover the broader topics like working with actors, but he also gets into finer details like working with a cinematographer and how to properly audition a DP for your project. It was fascinating. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class, and as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash campia now. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off Masterclass.